Hey, what's up everybody? It's David here with Tough Guys TV and on this episode, I'm back in the bathroom again because we have a problem with this toilet down here. So I figured I would take advantage of this since I need to do a quick repair and I would share it with you guys. Now what I've come to figure out is it looks like there's some leaky bolts down at the bottom which has caused the toilet to shift a little bit and that has caused there to be some water that comes out of the bottom when people flush the toilet. Now normally you could just tighten these bolts down and you'd probably be fine, but since I heard about this kind of secondhand through the kids that it was happening, I have a feeling it's probably shifted enough to where the O-ring, the wax O-ring, may be a little bit messed up. So I picked up one of these at the hardware store and I figured I would go over how to install it. This is a Corky aftermarket O-ring replacement. Uh, it's something you would do if you don't want to go back with a wax ring. It comes with all the parts that you need. So let's go over what's in here and then go over how to deal with that. We're gonna have some fun. All right, here is the wax-free toilet seal that comes with bolts, and this is from Corky. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open this up really fast. I'm gonna show you what comes in the package and how you can prep to do the install that we're gonna be doing inside. Now they do advertise this being as a universal unit that can fit any type of floor. We're gonna find out about that. And then also according to the instructions here in the back, above floor, even with the floor or below the floor, basically they've got you set up here to work any way you want. Of course, review the instructions on your own before you do any type of install. All right, so this part here has the red rubber seal and it's got a small bit of this foam. And you can see here, it's kind of squishy and it has some release to it. Now this foam product here is the part that they give a 10 year warranty to saying that it's gonna last a super long time. Now this additional ring here looks as though you're gonna be using that for if you have a much bigger distance to fill. For example, if your toilet seal was inset into the floor a little bit and your floor was up above it, then you'd wanna use this product here combined with the original part I showed you. And luckily they included bolts and washers and locking washers and everything you need here in the box. Be careful when you make a purchase because sometimes this is the type of stuff that gets left out and then you're in a real bind when you get all the way back home. All right, so that was just a quick overview. Came out to the shop to open that up for you guys, and we're gonna head back inside, and we're gonna get to installing this product so you can see how that goes. And here is the glorious throne that we are gonna be working with today. Quick note, super cool vanity. We have a video on the channel if you'd like to check out this thing. It is awesome. So anyways, back to the toilet. Here's what we have going on. I've went ahead and turned the water supply back on so you guys can see how this works. If I flush this, water is gonna come out down here at the floor. And you can see that's quite a bit. That is definitely not good. Now, like I said, I'm pretty sure that you could tighten those bolts down and it may eliminate the problem. But like I said, since the kids kind of brought this to my attention, I feel like this thing has been rocking quite a bit and I'm worried that the O-ring is kind of slid or just does not have a good seal anymore. So I'm gonna ahead and pull it up. The first step we wanna do is shut off the water supply to the toilet. We wanna make sure that that is completely shut off. We want to make sure that we flush it, empty as much water out of the tank as possible before we start messing with this thing. Now down here is where one of those locking bolts would be. And you can see this one is pretty much just by hand. And you're going to want to take both of these off and then you're going to be able to remove the toilet. And of course you want to make sure that you remove the connection to the toilet. And there may be a little bit of water in the line. So if you need to get a bowl or something, have that ready for yourself. Okay, we've got the toilet disconnected and we've got it set over here. And down here, it's not a great situation. There's definitely been some water sitting on the tile underneath. And you can see here that the wax ring has kind of been smashed on one side and definitely lots of water has been getting out. So the first thing I'm gonna do is get this all cleaned up and ready to go so that we can go through uh, the install process on the new Corky unit. All right, so now that we have the toilet out, you can see gloves are your next step because you're gonna to wanna to scrape that wax ring off and get it off of there. I put gloves on because this stuff is gross. You also need some kind of a scraper. This is my super old scraper five in one thing. It works pretty well for me. And for dirty jobs like this, I think it's best to use something that I don't really care how gross it gets. All right, let's head down there and get this prepped. All right, so I also have a bag off camera here to put this stuff into. But basically, I just used the scraper to try to get it pried free. And you also want to avoid trying to drop anything down inside this hole. That probably goes without saying, just don't do it. 
trying to get the old bolt loose. You can take those out. Number two. Once you get it to a certain point, you can lift and remove. And you can see there how this is slid all the way down inside the opening. Definitely not good. All right, now that I have this cleaned up, I need to get it dry and I need to make sure it's completely dry before we put the new toilet back in. So we may have a little bit of time here to wait. We're gonna fast forward that for you guys. Now I am back inside the bathroom and per measuring the flange on the floor, I need to remove this small piece and put the larger one on. So that piece comes off and the new one goes on. And remember, you'd wanna follow the instructions based on your flange situation. Mine sticks up like 3 eighths of an inch, so anything over half of an inch, and I would've been leaving the smaller black piece on there. And the next step, we're gonna be using these toilet bolts with these little plastic washers that lock them in place. Let's go down there and I'm gonna show you how to do it. All right, so how these little plastic washers work is they help hold the bolt in place. I'm just gonna feed it on a little bit. So with that plastic washer on there, I'm gonna feed this down, and it's gonna help hold this in place. So I'm pushing this down at the same time as pulling upward pressure to kind of trap that as far down as I can. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Your next step is to put this in place and you wanna put these over the toilet bolts. Now really quick, I just wanna show what you should be looking at. You should have one toilet bolt on either side. And now the next step would be to set the toilet in place. After you do that, that's when you're gonna use the metal washers and the metal nuts that came in there to lock those down once the toilet is in place on top of there. And hopefully you remember to save your little caps because you're gonna to wanna to put those back on as well. All right, for the next step, you're gonna to wanna to set the toilet back in place. And this is a super small bathroom. I do not have a ton of room in here to really get a good shot of this, but basically you're gonna to wanna to take the toilet, line it up to the bolts below, set it down slowly, make sure everything's lined up as you go. All right, so what we're gonna to try to do is show you how to lift the toilet the best way. Like I said, it's a very small bathroom. I have a great helper helping me hold the camera. Thanks so much. The way I generally try to do it is I stand over the toilet and I'm gonna be lifting it from the center. So basically one hand on this side and one hand on the other side. Lift with your powerful thighs instead of your back. And then just kind of keep the toilet under yourself as you move. All right, so that was a little bit difficult. Sorry, there's really not a great camera angle to show me fully lifting the toilet into place, and it's pretty difficult to get it lined up while you're there. I do have it lined up. Let's take a closer look. I can show you what you should be looking at when you know you have the bolts lined up like they're supposed to be. So down here on this side, you can see I've got a bolt sticking up there. It has a little bit of play in it, but it's overall pretty sturdy. So that's what you have on this side. And then on the other side, you should have the exact same thing going on. All right, for the next step, you're gonna put the washer on first. Then they give you a locking nut. Now the locking nut itself, it does go on with just hand tightening at first. Once you get it down closer to the bottom, sometimes if you have a little bit of play in the bolt or it's a little bit loose, you may need to hold the top of the bolt with a pair of pliers like this, and then another pair of pliers, maybe like this one, and you can tighten the nut. I want to be careful here not to over tighten this side. I need to go ahead and get the bolt on the other side first. All right, once you're happy with the bolt tension and you go back and forth, you can kind of move the toilet, make sure that everything is level and everything is like you want it to be and everything feels sturdy. The next step is going to be to put your caps back on and then you're going to be good to go. And you can see we got the cap on the other side. And the last step here is to get your supply line reconnected. Now, maybe this could be an opportunity for you to replace your supply line if you have something older. Mine seems to be working just fine. I'm just gonna hook it back up. Now on my toilet, I've always just done a hand tight on this. Now there's lots of different opinions on that matter. If hand tight works, it's good to go. There's gaskets in there. It's designed for this. You're not supposed to wrench this thing down as far as I've ever been taught. Then you would turn this back on. Check it for leaks and you'll generally hear that the tank is filling with water. That's a good sound. Go and get that turned all the way on now so it can fill up. All right, the tank is filled. Now I'm going to try to flush it and we're gonna take a look down here to make sure we don't have water just spilling out like before. Looks like for at least now we are good. Flushed, it's full of water. There we go. 
And all right, that wraps up this. It's pretty easy, although it is weird to be sitting on the toilet talking to you guys now. But anyways, that pretty much wraps up this process. There's really not much to it. Um, that Corky brand uh, seal system, I really do recommend. It's super easy to use. It's very, very built towards beginners. The instructions are great. You can't really go wrong there. I'll have a link down in the description if you want to pick one of those up for yourself. And if you have any additional questions, leave them down in the comments below. Generally, we have a lot of people commenting and we like to kind of just help everybody out in the community here. It's really great. Thanks so much for watching this video. Hope to see you guys soon in the next project.